Hi, it's Andy. Um, Andy of Julian Andy and Love and Addicts. I'm here by myself tonight. Um, I have a message for those of you in recovery. Um, I'm in recovery. Uh, my wife is not. And um, we work together to bring the word of um, joyful unions um, for those of you who love an addict, have an addict in your life. Um, any relationship doesn't matter. Um, and today, tonight, I want to talk to you about something that's been on my mind a lot. If you have been in recovery, and if you're like me, you've been in and out of recovery, you have put somebody significant through some hard times. Um, maybe you have one person, usually it's one person, it might be a lot, but usually there's one main person who has been there for you through thick and thin, uh, through good times and bad, and this is the person that you have treated poorly time and time again, um, lied to, manipulated, um, mental abuse, just not good actions, not good behaviors while you were acting out on your addictions. And I'd like you to take a moment today or a few moments and tell this person how much you appreciate them sticking around. Addicts in recovery get pretty self-centered a lot of the time and I think that in a large part that's a good thing because to actually change to become the person that you can be but you got sidetracked by all of your addictive behaviors it takes a whole lot of work and it takes a lot of um, self inward travels, journeys, exploration. You need to focus on yourself an awful lot to find out what it is that you want to be and where it is you want to go. And so that's a good thing, but when you have somebody special in your life who you have treated poorly in addictive behaviors, a lot of times when they're sticking around after you have gotten into recovery, they think, why am I still in the background? And it's inevitable. It's unfortunate, but I believe in the long run, it's a good thing because of the work that the addict is doing. But if you are watching this and you are an addict and you have someone like that, try to remember that we're a tough bunch to love. I'm not saying that we don't deserve to be loved because I believe everybody does. And I believe that that lack of self-love and the thoughts that we have that we're not worthy of love is one of the reasons, the big reasons, that we get into addictive behaviors in the first place. But try to remember that it can be tough to love people like us. And a person who sticks through the tough times and is still there in the, the good times, the better times, they're certainly better, but it's still hard. There's still a lot of work, a lot of soul searching. And um, that person, if he's, he or she is still sticking around, take a moment to say thank you. I'm not talking about making amends. Um, that's there's a time and a place for that if you're following a stel, uh, 12 step program you know when it's time to make amends but I'm just saying take some time to say thank you there's a good chance that that person has people in his or her life that said dump this person get out get your life together and leave this person alone. Don't have anything to do with this person. 
because he or she has lied to you, hurt you time and time again, always said I won't happen anymore, and then it happens again. Again, like I say, we're a tough bunch to love. So whoever this person is, if it's a significant other or a parent or a brother or sister or good friend, mentor, whatever it is, take a moment and look them in the eye and say, listen, I really appreciate you, all, all the things you've done for me and just being there, being at the other end of the phone when I've called late at night or in bed next to me to curl up with when the night's long and hard. People in our lives are one thing that good people in our lives is one thing that makes recovery so special and appreciating these people and showing the appreciation we feel is something that I think we tend to forget about sometimes um, so do that you'll feel really good knowing that you took the time to say hey listen I was not a good person all the time. I did not make the best decisions, but you stuck by me while everyone else said to just kick me to the curb and you didn't. And that means so much. And having you in my life um, makes my life that much better. Really makes it special. Um, I enjoy my sobriety. I enjoy my recovery most of the time. It's a lot of work. Um, I. I am not sober for my wife, I'm not sober for my kids, but they are very special um, added bonuses to my recovery. So I love to say, hey, listen, not to my kids, they're too young to really understand it, but my wife certainly. Thanks so much. It means so much to me, all of the hard things you've gotten through and the difficulties that we have now. We're on two different journeys. but. It's really nice to have her by my side. So I hope you do that. I hope that your recovery is as wonderful as it can be. Um, I hope the hard times aren't too difficult. Um, I hope that whatever relationship that I'm referring to in your life isn't too laden with codependence because let's face it, codependence is, is more pervasive than addiction in my opinion. Um, but you know just put that aside that person is there probably because they saw the special person that you are when you didn't see it loved you when you didn't love you and um knew that you were worth saving when you thought you weren't so take a few minutes tell that person and i'm really glad that you were here thanks and my name's Andy, and here is some con uh, some ways to follow us. Should be able to read that. Thanks so much. Pause it. Give us some feedback. Anything that you're thinking, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.